district of that time designated the Faculty of Medicine as a center of excellence in medicine amongst Nigerian universities. The Senate and Council of the University of Ibadan warmly welcomed this development and subsequently requested the faculty to put up proposals which would enhance and promote its evolution into the status of a college of medicine. The statutes establishing the college was drafted and it went to Senate. Senate of the university approved, passed it on to the council of the university, which in turn approved it. It did not become law until approval by the federal government. And that took a, a, a considerable length of time. The draft statute was submitted to the Federal Ministry of uh, Justice in 1980. And it took the, the, the foundation provost almost uh, every day visit to Lagos. Thereafter, the University Council took decisive steps to restructure the Faculty of Medicine into a College of Medicine with effect from 1st August 1980. Professor Luwole Akonde, the then Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, was consequently appointed the first Provost of the College. Formation, it, it, there was an evolution, it was a gradual process and it took a lot of time. Uh, the final stages of the evolution, of course, of what I was involved in. Uh, the previous deans of the Faculty of Medicine had a lot of role to play. They played a lot of role in making sure that the faculty achieved that status of the college. Uh, in particular, my immediate predecessor in office as dean, uh, Professor Gio Shidoku, a pleasant member. And during the period of his tenure of Professor Shidok, which was the latter part of the last year of his tenure, that uh, a majority of the processes uh, took uh, a greater momentum. But the momentum was further sustained in the early years of my own period as dean. I was fortunate to have been subbed in postgraduate for three of the four years of uh, Professor Shotoku's tenure as dean. So therefore I was involved in the earlier processes that took place in that period. This gave me an advantage when I took over as dean in August 1978 to move the process even much faster forward. Council at its meeting on the 21st of June 1980 uh, approved the regulations that established the college and appointed me as the first dean for a four-year period, which started on the 1st of August, 
research on human diseases and uh, we have been able to make an impact in research over the years. The institute houses a number of researchers from different disciplines, but most importantly, uh, a number of research that have been carried out in this institute have uh, brought us a number of uh, recognition in the areas of genetic studies uh, on human diseases, in the area of malaria, in the area of uh, drug trials for malaria studies. And uh, these areas have really been worked on in depth. And we also have newer research uh, projects coming up in cancer studies, especially looking at uh, immunohistochemistry of cancers. And these are all uh, part of the work that have been done here. And we find that uh, along with that, there have been uh, other areas such as um, sickle cell disease, which is one of the uh, diseases that affect at least a quarter of uh, people in Nigeria and in black race. But just about 2 to 3 percent of this population is affected by sickle cell disease. So it's a disease we should pay attention to. And groundbreaking work on the genetics of sickle cell disease has been one of the top most uh, works we have done here that have brought us recognition. However, at the beginning of the 1982-83 session, the University Senate approved the establishment of a faculty of pharmacy within the college with effect from August 1983. Till date, we remain the only college in the University of Ibadan. There was an experiment to create other colleges of medicine in the University of Ibadan, but this failed simply because people would not work together and also because there were some other scopes that we could not really settle. But thank God, we remain intact as a college. We've grown, we've actually grown from the original two faculties to five faculties at a point in time, and then we lost the faculty of pharmacy. And now we are an autonomous college university with four faculties. The faculties are basic medical sciences, clinical sciences, public health, and dentistry. The faculty of pharmacy left the alliance to become an independent faculty in the University of Ibadan. The Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences is one of the foundation faculties in the College of Medicine and is involved in the training of medical and dental students as well as physiotherapy and nursing students. The faculty also trains students for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and Physiology. There are nine departments and one institute in the faculty. Uh, we have the departments of uh, Anatomy, biochemistry, uh, chemical pathology, okay. hematology, um, uh, virology, medical microbiology and parasitology, pharmacology and therapeutics, and we have the Institute for Advanced Medical Research and Training. So what we have on ground today will compare very favorably with any university approach. The only difference is that uh, we do not have the financial support and base to perform the kind of things they will perform abroad. Another foundation faculty is the Faculty of Clinical Sciences,